In today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing. I just finished filming a video with my mother, which was very exciting. I don't know which video is coming out first. I have some Chanel products, which I want to open right now because I can't wait. And I'm so excited for that. I did film a little vlog. You guys can check that out when I went to Chanel. I usually love vlogging when I get to Chanel because I just get so excited when I see the things. This, jumping right into this video, is a very special piece which I had requested from my essay. I was like, if there's anything from this collection you can get me, please, I'm begging you, make it this little tiny piece because I need it. I need it. If there's one thing I'm obsessed with, it is Chanel belts. This one in particular is jumping straight to the top of my favorites list it is well, i actually unboxed it but i just want to show you guys because i want to wear it today the chanel oh mini bag belt how adorable is this this is in the smallest size i believe it's I don't actually know what size it is. This is one piece I love from this collection. I wasn't huge on the collection. Thank God for my bank account. But this was one piece I needed. I knew I had to have. It does come in a necklace version. In fact, I think it comes in two necklace versions. Mm. There's like a necklace which comes straight down. And then there's also like a crossbody version. Let me just show you guys how small this bag is. This bag. And yes, it is a bag because it does actually open up and you can put things inside. I don't know what much else apart from pills and powder is gonna fit in this tiny little bag, but we love her. She is cute. She is gonna be worn all throughout spring, summer. I know Chanel come out with very small, tiny little mini bags, but honestly, like the AirPods case and like there are other like variations of small Chanel bags you can buy. This isn't a bag, I'm not calling it a bag, but Honestly, for me, if I see stuff like that off the runway, I don't like it. I don't think it looks normal seeing someone with a Chanel AirPods leather little thing hanging from their neck or like whatever it is. I just, I don't think it's cute. I think it's weird. It looks great as a complete Chanel look, but wearing like a t-shirt and jeans and just having this neck, it's a bit strange for me and it's a no. So I won't be getting that. Obsessed with this belt though. I, oh. I cannot wait to wear you. I also have some ready-to-wear pieces. You guys know I love Chanel ready-to-wear. And these are, I believe, what did I get? Ooh, okay, I bought another piece from this new collection. As you guys can see, they were bought from different essays. This is from Dubai Mall, this is from Mall of the Emirates. This is too big for me. And I genuinely have a pile of clothes which are way too big for me, which I need to give to my tailors for alteration. But honestly, you guys know I run a fashion brand on my own. My tailors, it's a small team. They are so overwhelmed with work. They don't actually have the capability to do alterations for me right now. We're a team strong of six tailors. Uh, no, eight. Ah, we have eight now. But still, they are hardworking and focused on petite as of right now. We have a lot of orders to ship out. So they're working on that. So I can't get my stuff altered. I mean, it's not a big deal, but... You know, who knows, maybe I'll wear this next season. But this, ooh. I saw this on the runway and I was like, that's one piece I need. You guys know I'm not huge on logos, but if it's Chanel, she must be bought. This could be such a cute look for work, as if I go to work. This is the Chanel Black. It's a jersey fabric. It's terry cloth jersey. This is literally fabric I have in my atelier. Wow. I mean, the fabric's not awesome. It's not, okay, let me just let me just tell you something straight up. I know that this was not worth the price that I paid for it. Chanel are taking the piss, but you know what? It's Chanel, they can do what they want and I'll still buy them. Um, I'm gonna have a little bit of an issue altering this because on the back, you can see they have Chanel, in, it's not embroidered, it's actually got crystals on it and Coco Chanel presents at the bottom and along the seams, there is detailing so this will be a bit of a challenge but i'm sure my tailors will be able to do something with this because it is a really cute piece and this is actually in the smallest size i honestly buy all my clothes in the smaller size but because i am very small nothing fits it's unfortunate maybe i'll get time today to pass by and get these altered and if i do a vlog you'll see that next piece oh this was a piece which i didn't actually go in for this was a piece i actually saw in store and usually i'm not gonna lie to you guys if if you don't shop often at Chanel, you probably won't know this, but Chanel put random things out in the store. Look, I'm not speaking for all countries. I'm speaking mainly for the stores that I go to in Dubai. 
the entire collection is never out in store. If you're a frequent customer in Chanel or you know what you want at Chanel, you can place an order for that item. You'll most probably get it like on your wish list. If you are a frequent buyer at Chanel, they'll definitely give it to you and they'll put priority on your piece because they know you'll pay for it but they don't put the whole collection out. This is a piece that I didn't actually see online anywhere. It's something I saw in store and I fell in love when I tried it on. I was like, this is fantastic. And surprisingly, thankfully, it actually fits. This is a little black Chanel cardigan. I know it looks ugly like this. It looks horrific, it really does. So, but like on the hang I saw it and I was like, this is kind of ugly, but like I like the fabric. It's very lightweight kind of fabric. It's something which I wouldn't necessarily... Okay, my camera ran out of space while I was talking. But okay, so this isn't something I'd call a cardigan. I tried it on with the assumption that I'd wear it as a dress. And this is in the smaller size, size 34. And it actually fit really well because it is like a baggy cardigan. And it actually looks really cute. I think belted. It does come with a belt, but it's not a cute belt. I'm not gonna lie. I think belted with this belt. <gasps> Oh my goodness, I need to get those Chanel sandals. There are a few pairs of Chanel shoes which I want. I've said this before, but I don't really love Chanel shoes. I think they're a bit mature. They don't have that sex appeal to them. I love sexy heels. Chanel shoes like that. So does Dior, I'm not gonna lie. They're classic, they're, they're elegant. There is a pair of Chanel shoes which I have on my wish list, which I might go get today actually. I think I, no, I actually need to because I have an outfit in my head. And if I don't get this outfit put on me, I'm gonna be sad about it. So that was that from Chanel. I love that they give me hangers. I honestly love the Chanel hangers. And when I first started collecting Chanel ready to wear, I had this vision that I'll have an entire Chanel closet. Just rows and rows of Chanel jackets and Chanel clothing and knitwear. And I, I love it. And these hangers make you feel so special. Next, we'll talk about um, whatever this is. I don't remember buying this, but I apparently bought it a while ago. A pair of shoes, which I love. I've talked to you guys about Gian Vito Rossi before. I'm obsessed with the brand. My sister is obsessed with the brand. We put my mum onto the brand. Fantastic quality shoes, super comfortable. Very basic, but wearable. And I think you need to have a good foundation of basics in your wardrobe. I reiterate this all the time, but it's not basic if it's classic. And I really needed a nice pair of strappy sandals and these are the gold Gian Vito Rossi Portofinos in the highest heel height. I did have my eye, oh wait, yeah I did have my eye on the Aquazuras, the slingback ones that I bought in my last video in gold but I bought them in silver, the metallic silver version and I realized that they were quite uncomfortable because they're stiff but this is a really soft leather and it is very wearable and you know what guys I have the Bottegas and I'm not the biggest fan of them. I've always been looking for an alternative version to the Bottegas. And just classic strappy heels. I mean, these are not strappy. They're just strapped. Oh, great. I'll have to be wearing these. The only issue I have with these is that I tend to run down the heel thing very quickly. I don't know if it's because I've got a heavy foot or I'll be doing mad shit in these shoes and I'll forget about what I did. Not great. Also, one tiny little issue. With this metallic gold, it kind of rubs off eventually. You get like that rubbed off. Stitch. I don't know how to prevent that. Maybe crep protect. I don't think so. But I love these. I actually have an unboxing to do later on today, which actually I'll probably do tomorrow depending when my package comes. I bought a bunch of stuff online and I'm very excited about it. And I will show you guys what I bought online when that comes. It's nothing really special, but it's there's actually one piece in there which might shock you. And I think you need to see it because it might be a vibe. It's, it's a vibe. So I'm at Chanel today. Got my new shoes on. And I'm trying this one again in my other size. I found this little piece, which I want to try on. I think I'm going to get this. This is a cardigan, but I'm wearing it as a dress. And I think it works. I might need to wear something underneath that's a little bit see-through. But... I love it. So I just got to Chanel. And the piece I had on my wish list for the new collection is here. They did have one which came in like green and pink, I think. This is the smallest size they ordered. I'm gonna have to see if it fits. It looks a bit large, but let's see. I also have some other stuff on hold. So I was planning on doing a Netta Porta and My Teresa unboxing today, but those packages haven't arrived yet. But yesterday, as you saw in the previous clip, I was 
talking about a pair of sandals from Chanel, which I thought would look fantastic with my Chanel dress. Obviously, when I get something in my head, I have to get it or I have to get it done. And then literally that second after I stopped filming, I went to the mall and I picked up the sandals I wanted, or at least the sandals I thought I wanted. The pair that I initially looked at were, I'll insert an image here. However, I messaged my essay and she said that they weren't available in black, I believe. They were only available in the black and white and I didn't like the black and white. Then I asked her about another pair. Those weren't even coming to Dubai. But then I went to the store still because I was adamant to find a pair of Chanel sandals, which I had in my head for this look. And I picked up this particular pair. This particular pair genuinely revolts my sister, but they are not a pair which I thought I would ever be picking up. I've seen them around a lot and I think you kind of get influenced, well you do get influenced when you see things a lot and it kind of just makes you think, mm, maybe I should try them. I know it seems like I'm someone that's genuinely easily influenced but I'm honestly not, but these kind of spoke to me and when I saw a similar pair on my friend, I was like, okay, I really want them. She makes them look really cute. So these are, they're not the typical Birkenstock dad sandal. They've got rope detailing, crisscrossed, They've got this strap which says Chanel along the front and a Velcro fastening at the back which you can open up and close. It has a little Chanel sign. It's got like a cork wedge. It's not the most sexy shoe. In fact, it's the least sexy shoe I own after my Balenciaga boots. These are great for summer. I think they're fantastic. The other pair that I really liked, I wish they were coming to Dubai but they're not. I might have to get them through a personal shopper but I really like those. I think those are a bit more elegant and like wearable. Whereas these are like a completely different vibe and you kind of have to be going for like a laid back kind of vibe for these. I think I'm gonna make them work. They aren't the cheapest pair of sandals. A thousand pounds for a pair of like ugly sandals. You really have to be into ugly sandals to want to spend a thousand pounds on these. I feel like I can make them work. She did offer me these in blue and I was like, no. Maybe if I get a lot of use out of these, I'll potentially pick up the blue. My standard size at Chanel is 36, so I picked these up in a 36. I don't know why, but Chanel, I can't get into 35 and a half. And initially, I used to be buying my espadrilles in size 37, but I think they changed the sizes of the espadrilles. And now I buy a 36. Actually, no, I haven't bought a pair of espadrilles in like how long? A long time. I don't really wear my espadrilles anymore. I'm not gonna end this video here because I do have other stuff coming and I do wanna show you because it's not enough for an entire whole video on its own. Okay, so I picked up my sandals. I got the black ones. I got them in blue. I didn't like the blue. I never wear blue. But hopefully if they get the other ones, I'll get those too. So I just got my package from my Teresa. I got three things. But this is what I'm going to wear today. I am obsessed with these Versace pants. So yeah, but I want to shoot in these face. I'm going to take off the table. Okay, so as I told you guys, I was waiting on a few packages. I got this one from my Teresa a few days ago. I actually wore these yesterday. These are beautiful Versace pajama pants. I wore them yesterday. I love them so much. I actually ordered the black and gold version. And then I got some very basic things. I got a Rick Owens tank top. It's a little bit large and a bit see-through, so I actually tried it on and I tied it up at the back to see how I would potentially have this altered. It's actually just like one piece and they don't have, it doesn't have seams except for the one running down the back. So it's gonna be an interesting alteration to do. It didn't come like this, by the way. I just kind of went through the box and tried everything on. I then got my favorite black <laughs> Jack Moose draped shirt. I love these shirts and I thought because I wear the other two white ones so much, I might as well get the black. I do have my eye on the khaki, and maybe I'll get that one next, but you can never have too many classic shirts. So that is that. I am still waiting for my Nest Porter package, which I initially made to come through when I made it with that order. But then I also said, like I said, I went back and I ordered the Versace trousers in black, and I ordered those off Nest Porter with a bunch of other things. So hopefully when those come, show you guys those two. Okay, so my Netta Porter package has arrived. The first one, I did make a few orders. So these are my ATM trousers. I also got, what is this? <gasps> Ooh, this is the most exciting one. It is swimwear, but I'm not gonna be wearing it as swimwear. This is from Christopher Esper, which is an amazing brand. 
that I'm kind of obsessed with right now. I don't really love all his pieces, but love the brand because he does some amazing pieces. Unfortunately, the ready-to-wear has like these weird like cap sleeves, which just don't suit my shoulders, so I don't like those. But basically, he's known for this rouging, this tie detailing. Love this. I'm definitely going to be wearing it in the pool as well as out of the pool. And then this what is, oh, okay, this is from one of my favorite other brands, Cult Gaia. It's a plain, what is it, <laughs> um, top. I am so excited to wear this. I'm so lucky I managed to find it. It's got this crisscross detailing on the back. Wow. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to wear this. Oh, I love this. Cut Guy has some really amazing pieces right now for ready to wear. And even their accessories are so cute. 